There are tales littered all across the wasteland. Some speak of Romans from a bygone era. Some mention eldritch horrors. Others talk about knights in shining power armor. Are these just myths conjured up by the radiation poisoned brains? Or is there some truth to them? Only you can decide as we step into the haze of Waste Lord's legends. I Designed in early 2077, the T-60 power armor is modeled off of the T-45 armor and designed for even greater protection. This power armor was on the front lines of battles during the Great War and is one of the reasons it is not is widely found in the wastelands of America. This power armor is widely used by the East Coast Brotherhood of Steel after they defeated the Capital Wasteland chapter of the Enclave and used their technology to mass produce the suits. These suits are also much greater for transportation because of the large rings on the pauldrons that allow it to be connected to hooks and or chains. This power armor has all the functions of previous models. A headlamp, air filtration system, radiation protection, external ports for the user to hear their surroundings, bulletproof eye slits, and a hydraulic frame that prevents fall damage and provides great strength. This power armor has even greater ballistic resistance than the T-51, yet worse electrical resistance and because of its rigid design, less ricocheting, which had its benefits and downfalls. The T-60 can also be found with a Tesla coil upgrade that increases the user's electrical damage output with energy weapons, most likely by overcharging the weapon's capacitator. If you ever come across this rare power armor, make sure to report it to your nearest Brotherhood outpost for potential compensation. I would not recommend taking it because they will just take it from you. Thank you, travelers, for all joining me in this Waste Lord legend. If you are interested in this type of content, check out my channel and consider subscribing. Leave a like if you found this entertaining or informative, and if there is anything I missed, let me know in the comments down below. But most importantly, thank you for watching.